All right, guys, I want you to watch this from just after the open. Uh, we knew it was going to be a slower session based on the overnight range being tight and the volumes being tight, correct? I actually had a bullish bias because this NASDAQ, if you look up here, was strong and making higher highs. And I got a good position location-wise to get in for a small winner, but save money by scratching the rest because I seen something change. And let me play it. Down in here is the S&P. This chart above yeah. is the NASDAQ. They were making higher highs one right after quarters, the open. And we here at 1175 had some sellers, started walking up, got bullish, thought, well, she's stuck, meaning the um, red selling is stuck. Here's some more red selling. Okay, maybe stuck. Upside should be the right side. But an interesting thing happened. I'm going to show you this upper right. See what I just did? Let me pause it. Before you start to go down, let me pause it and blow up the NASDAQ. An interesting thing happened. Just look at the top right. Right in here, they make a higher high on the session, the NASDAQ. And as I'm watching, as we're watching the S&P, it doesn't budge to go higher. It's stuck right here at 12 even. It just come from 1275. The NASDAQ goes up two points, makes a higher high. We should at least be trading 1275, 13 even. Something happened right in here. I told guys in the room, you got to be careful long. If you're long, you either got to get out or, or uh, be very, very careful. If you're bearish, this is your win moment. It went from maybe breaching these reds to go up to breach in these greens to get pummeled based on two things order flow of buyers that started to get laughed at and number two intermarket relationship with the nasdaq making a higher high and this guy couldn't budge now you can't sit there and say well the es should be rallying right now unless you were watching the nasdaq in that sequence so you see how important it is to watch another market so you could ask better questions Everybody wants better answers, but they, they don't know what the better questions are. So in that sequence, the NASDAQ popped. We didn't. I went from bullish to bearish. I'm not great at reversing, or I would have, but it saved me money, right? Saving money is like making money. Those in the room that were bearish used that as a win moment and had an effortless um, trade to the downside as I play it. Oh, shoot. I'll play this out as this is rewinding, but I'll play this out. And you had a pretty nice downside move. As soon as it got through these two greens, as soon as the NASDAQ made a higher, we couldn't, and we busted through the bottom of this range. The downside became the right side. Had a couple slow, albeit slow, downside moves in today's session. Just make sure you're understanding in these reviews when you overlap. Nine three quarters. Two Nine skill three set. quarters. Nine Order flow quarters. and inner market relationships. Subscribe and uh, get your notifications going when we update these Even. YouTube videos. You'll get Even. an alert.